Let your glory fill this house. Let your praises flood my heart. Let each vessel offer the sacrifice of praise. There's a department in heaven that has all financial transactions that will happen to a child of God. I'm going to say this again. There's a department in heaven that has all financial transactions for a child of God. Every financial transaction that was ever destined for you. Any fi <laughs> this, this, that's how ladies be taking out their bra, their bra thing. <laughs> Joking. I'm playing around. I just messing around. No, nah, I saw mama do it. I saw mama do it. You know you saw your mama did it before. Moment. <laughs> you you like, oh, 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 
Mama took a bra. <laughs> oh, 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 let me turn my face. I ain't watching you get dressed no more, Mama. I'm not going to watch you get dressed no daggone more. There are wealth gates that every fin <laughs> financial transaction take place in. And the wealth gates are so powerful because this is where the child of God will be empowered to represent the father properly in the earth. This is the place where the child of God will be able to show forth God's glory accurately. Because see, a lot of people, you hear them say Shekinah glory. If you're not really careful, you'll think that glory is smoke. Now, I'm a glory carrier. I know, I know the ins and outs of glory because um, in my ministry, I've gone beyond anointing um, and demonstration. I'm no rookie to how to get the fire of God to manifest. So I know um, the, the geometrics <laughs> of Holy Spirit demonstration. And when the Holy Spirit is demonstrating himself, there is a side of him that is mindful of your provision. I want to show you something that you probably never heard it like this before. Look at how Jesus is demonstrating. Now we see the Holy Spirit demonstrating. There's deliverance going on for sicknesses and diseases. And then watch how Jesus switch up out of that realm of demonstration. And now he's focusing on their food. Here's what the church world has done, which is the dusty world. <laughs> the dusty world. They have rejoiced in everything else, dot, dot, dot. And then when Jesus start talking about food, they say, oh, no, no, that's not of God. That's what the church world have done. And it's, it's all Jesus. It's all Jesus. From the area of that same deliverance that just went on. From the same avenue that that person just got set free from a sickness. From the same avenue that that person just got set free from demonic possession. is the same avenue that Jesus is coming to bring abundance and wealth. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody say glory to God. See, 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 if you live for people, you're still going to be a slave. But if you live for Jesus, you're going to become a son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and when you become a son, there are going to be people that's going to try to put slavery on you. But who the son set free. You know, when I get tongues like that, you know, it's about to go crazy. You know, when your makeup good, you can't, you can't really dance how you want to dance. <laughs> when you got your makeup on, you'll be able to. <laughs> when, when, when you realize how good God been to you, even if you got the makeup, you still get it up just a little bit. But but when you done lost your life and found it in him, you... you just, the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the glory... The, the glory... <laughs> Saints, saints, you see, you see, have you, have, have, have you, have you seen, 
Have you seen? Have you seen the episode where, where uh, Eddie Murphy was going to go? Uh, he was late for Miss Purdy. <laughs> hey, you haven't lived life until you was around somebody and you try to eat your food. <laughs> you try to eat your food and swallow your food different. Because <laughs> cause you ain't want to make no goat sounds. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you ain't want to swallow your food wrong. You ain't, you ain't want, you ain't, you up there. See, see, when you eat chips, you. But when, but when you get around somebody, you. You got to get a smaller piece. That That's too big to go. That's too big too. Huh? Okay, all right. Call them at seven? All right. But when you're by yourself, this is how you eat. <laughs> Where my phone at? Where... from heaven like I did not know that that was a baby horse I, God been having us watch over a horse all this 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 the secret that the father been holding from us this was a horse <laughs> you know. they're so stubborn. This is a horse. No wonder God was telling me not to, don't mess with Mandingo. They kept on going. This is a, this was a horse all along. I knew it. Saints, you remember in the word of God that, um, remember, uh, Sam, uh, Samson's parents tried to feed that angel. And that angel denied the food. You ever wondered about that? Why did the angel deny the food? Because saints, even when you start moving with angels, your appetite don't crave and your digestive system can't even swallow the natural realm's material any longer. See, saints, here's what I found out that I myself over the years became so possessed with the spirit of God and his mentality that the natural realm, it don't even tempt me, it don't phase me. Like, I, there's, I don't know what doubt is. Since you've seen me in my services before, you, seen, you, you, care if I, if you think that I care whether or not the person come out the wheelchair or, or they come out the water, walker, you think I care what you say? I don't care what you say, because I'm powerful either way. But what I do, I go right there, give me your daggone walker. You, give, give me this daggone walker. Give me this, give me this daggone walker. I've been like that. I, 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 don't need to, I don't need your validation to let me know who I am. I already know who I am. Saints, fear is the main reason why people never become who they're supposed to be. 
You know, some people don't even serve their man of God because they're fearful of what people are going to say about them. They see that man of God come in the attack, they're scared that people are going to start talking about them. So they're scared. Let me just reserve my image just in case. Well, well baby, when the reward's going out in heaven, you know what's going to happen to you? If you make it, you're going to be looking at all of us receive our mansions and crowns while you, while you got to go through a semester. Yeah, because everybody not going to receive the crowns in the same crowns. You understand? You're going to have to um, take on this gospel for real. And this gospel going to cause you to be persecuted. So don't, don't be afraid of that. Uh, many people, uh, persecution really could be such a damaging thing for them because they haven't been used to be opposed for God. People have been opposed for being ratchet. Uh, people have been opposed for being a city girl, a city boy, you know, being a gang member, being in the hood, uh, uh, being, uh, you know, it, it's different when you being opposed for being Jesus, woman and Jesus, man, a lot of people run from that. But if you run from that, just know this, how God go, how God going to let you into eternal life in that state? Because you got to think about it like this. Jesus said, if you be ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. And, and saints, that's why you never saw me pull back ever. Because I'm not ashamed of Jesus. If you're ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. Now that scripture is scary. Because we don't decide how we're ashamed of Jesus. We may say, no, I read my Bible, I'm not ashamed of him. No, I'm a Christian. I'm, a sh I'm not ashamed of him. No, I love God. I'm not ashamed of him. But God will say, okay, I want you to post this. You say, oh, no, I ain't going to post that because what they going to say about me. And God, God right there in heaven saying, yeah, you're not ashamed according to your mind, but I'm telling you what to do. And you telling me that you're not going to do it because you're looking at what everybody going to say. Saints, I, if I was to tell you how God has given me the authority to say it, I would go viral right now. But but double flood pluck people. You understand? God didn't give you your disrespectful ways for him. He gave you your disrespectful ways for the enemy. Stop living your life scared of people. That's You're never going to get the wealth that God wants you to have if you are scared of cat. Come out from among them and be ye separate. Because see, the only way that the money cometh anointing, supernatural money can move on your life. The it, it, only way it's going to move when you get free from people. If you still scary cat, this realm ain't going to hit you yet. All those people that were sown into the apostles in Acts chapter four, they were sown into the apostles, but at the same time, they all left their image because people was looking at them. The government was looking at them and, and the world was looking at them and saying, how could you follow these fools? How could you follow these manipulators? How could you follow these men that up there talking about they was friends of Jesus? They disciples of Jesus. How could you lead? And, 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 and people just kept on going. Yeah, y'all talk about us, but I'm going to follow Apostle Peter. Yeah, and I'm not only going to follow him. I'm going to put all my money up in his hands. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, all right. Oh, I'm brand, Oh, I'm dumb now. Oh, oh, I was Auntie Margaret. Now I'm, I'm dumb Margaret. All right, fine. You, you don't love me no more? Fine. Well, stay right there. Apostle Peter, I'm listening to you. Uh-huh. Yes, Lord. Uh-huh. Amen. <laughs> Won't he do it? Come on, preach, Apostle Peter. Won't he do it? Whoa. <laughs> come on, come on. I'm about to pay another five in your face. Yeah, yeah. You thought that I was going to give this to your baby shower? Forget you and your baby shower. Uh, come on, come on, Apostle Peter. Yeah, I'm... Saints, imagine all of them kept on going through. None of them was listening to the world. They had to keep their eyes on their apostle. So, so 
that these are secrets that go with wealth. You're not going to step into the wealth anointing. Johnny just sold $400. You're not going to step into the wealth anointing. Johnny just sold $400. I'm, t I'm teaching Johnny how to sow. He said, Prophet, I'm listening to everything you say. Since a lot of people don't know this, I was the one that prophesied to Johnny. I told him in his first meeting with me in Miami, I told him, I said, thus said the Lord. I said, the people in your family, and it, this was private. It wasn't no service. I said, thus said the Lord. The people in your family been underneath a curse for diabetes, heart issues, and premature death. I told him, change your eating. Johnny listened to me. He lost all that weight. Y'all remember? Yeah. It was me, and I didn't have it public. This wasn't a public prophecy. I ain't do it for notoriety or nothing. I did it in private. But I'm just telling you because of the results of what having a prophet tell you what to do brings. You prosper. Now, he done lost hundreds of pounds. And he constantly losing. And he don't eat. He don't eat fast food like that. He 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 more more he more uh, disciplined. If you listen to your prophet of God, not only will you prosper financially, you'll prosper mentally, physically. Sickness sickness can be destroyed with quickness. You just gotta become quick to heed what God is saying, because God got a solution for every pollution. He'll supply something. Huh? Huh? He'll supply something and get it to you. That will wave out what the devil wanted to do. It's easy. Um, the glories of wealth gates is this. That once the wealth gates are open to you, there are levels. How many of y'all ever played video games before or something? You watch um, a, a, a family show. Uh, what that show where, um, where they do all this guessing. There's levels and there's rewards. So once I get one wealth gate to open for me, I'm going to see an increase in financial favor. I'm going to see how God start opening up doors. Because once those wealth gates are open, that means that I have access to a greater level of money. I got to teach this to you, my God. Huh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I had to get Jesus like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause see, see, hallelujah, even though hallelujah, hallelujah is an exciting word. He loveth the cheerful giver. You see? So, so even if something is deemed in the cheerful realm, add your attitude of cheerfulness to the word that's cheerful. See, I'm teaching you how to respond. See, some of y'all, you ain't even know that you was boring all your life with God. All your life you was born. Yeah, you ain't know. You used to tell us a father. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name above every name. Oh, shed it up. On the ocean. Oh, there it is. My cantala, my shokotele, keshte. Give me that snicker bar right there. Hoshian de la Moshikata. Give me my snicker bar. Hurry up. All right. I ain't going to bite you. Just pit it in my hand. I'm not, I'm not going to play with you today. Pit it in my hand, man, man. Pit it in my hand right now. Hoshian da, got you. Hoshian da, I'm Got you. Man, man, like... Always doing scary stuff, acting weird. <laughs> Always doing scary stuff and trying to scare me. <laughs> man, man, grow up with high blood pressure just and grow up with anxiety attacks just because of you. 
you out there praying at 3 a.m. in the night. Man, man, was up there sleeping real good. Man, man, suffering. Man, man, get mad when he get older. He sleep in the bed with his wife. Man, man. What? what what's, what's wrong? What's wrong? Nothing, nothing. I got to go to the restroom. Man, man, struggling. He go to the family reunion. God told him not to go. He go, he go to the family reunion. God told him not to go. He see his mama up in there tossing. Man, man, go give me a plate. Man, man, he nervous because he's like, I don't want to deal with this again. Then she pop up tossing. There's a snicker bar on the left. <laughs> there's, a, <laughs> there's a snicker bar on the left, extra caramel, extra crispy. Go, go, bring me a plate and afterwards bring me that, 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 that extra crispy snicker bar to the left. Man, man. Man, man. And then, then, man, man, look at her from a distance. She done, <laughs> she, she done broke out from a distance. Oh, she undied her. Oh, she undied Oh, she out Man, man up there having flash. Man, man looking from a distance like, oh, here she go again. <laughs> here she go again with this. She, so, so she, then she, then she yell out to man, man, don't play with me now. <laughs> bring, bring me, bring me the plate <laughs> and the extra Christmas stickers bar with extra caramel. Bring me the plate. Don't play with me, man, man. Man, man, about 42 years old, walking towards his mother. She's 67 because she had him kind of early. She was still in the... <laughs> she had a sugar daddy. In him. Man, man, coming towards her. But man, man, up there looking at her, and he taking his time because he don't want to give it to her because he know every time he give it to her, she snapped back and scared him. So as he nearing her, she told, Hoshiana, Hoshiana, don't play with me. <laughs> don't play with me. Bring it to me. Man, man, don't play with me. The food getting cold. I just saw a fly just flew over the noodles. All right? And it just missed it. It was the grace of God. Don't play with me, man, man. Bring me. Bring me. <laughs> bring me. Bring me, bring my food, and bring me that extra crispy Snickers bar with extra caramel. Man, man, getting closer to him. Man, man, wife calling from a distance. Say, man, man, could you help me and Al Alfred? Man, man said, I'm coming. As a matter of fact, I'm coming. She said, don't you do, don't you do it, man, man. Don't you do it, man, man. Come and bring me my food. Don't take my food in that bathroom. Don't take my food in the bathroom. Bring me my extra. Hashiando, hasho. Bring me my extra crispy Snickers. <laughs> so man, 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 pitted, pitted her hand and almost dropped the poking beans. Cause as soon as he gave it to her, the poking beans started shaking. Cause, cause, cause as soon as he pitted her hand, she said, "Oh, she <laughs> Man, man, man almost dropped the poking beans. Cause as soon as she took it, she act like she as soon as soon as she took as soon as she took it, she act like she was all calm. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Give 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 it to me, man man. Listen to what I'm telling you. Don't play with me. I'm not playing with you, man man. Listen to your mama. Bible say honor your mother and father. Alright, give it to me. There it is. Give it. Oh she on that! Oh she on that! Man, man up there suffered from all type of anxiety attacks until he was about 67. Traumatized him. 
traumatized him. Every time, every time he saw, traumatized him. Every time. Man, man, listen to God the next time. She invited him over to the second shut-in list. He ain't go. And they were serving the same poking beans. <laughs> they were serving the same poking beans. And there was there were several loads of snicker bars with extra caramel and extra crispiness. <laughs> he passed the test this time. He ain't go. So it came time. It came time. <laughs> I ain't going to deal with that. <laughs> Let's go to Isaiah 60. Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 60. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 60. Now look at, look at what it says right here. Let's go to uh, verse 11. It says, therefore, your gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. Somebody put that scripture on the screen. Malakasa Palasu. Your gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. That men may bring unto you the wealth of the Gentiles. That's Isaiah chapter 60. That's awesome. Look at, look at all of y'all pinning it up on the screen. That's, that's glorious. Meditate that. Think about it. Um, I want to say this to you. If you read Isaiah in certain texts, in this verse 60, it talks about wealth as force. If you notice that it talks about wealth as the force of the Gentiles or the forces. Why? Because wealth is a divine force in the spirit realm. And, and let me say it like this. Wealth will, will cause all demons to shut up. Wow, wow. Wealth will force all demons to shut their mouth. Wealth is so powerful, it's a force. So now you understand why um, it was Solomon that got the revelation and said that wealth is a def uh, money is a defense. Because see, Solomon would not have known this unless the Lord had uh, bombarded him with so much money. Wealth gates is a place where the Lord has the motive of bombarding you with plenty of money, with abundance of money. In the wealth gates, God is dealing with giving you overflow provision. He don't want you to have small provision in this realm. Now, saints, I want you to see this. Wealth is easy to God. It's, it's a small thing for him. Remember in the text it says that anything too hard for God 
Wealth is a small thing for the Lord. And all he needs is someone in the earth that is willing to worship him with everything that they get in their hands. You have to see money as an opportunity for you to impress the Lord. Wow. Jesus. Solomon's sowing was impressive to the father. So the father left what he was doing and said, what, can I, what shall I give unto you? Wait, the creator of the universe asking me, what shall he give unto me? Wow. So you come down to serve me. I'm, I'm, you created me to serve you. But now you asking me, how can I serve you? How could I give you what you like? So you see hereby the power of God in this mystery. Because now Solomon has learned the art because his, his father taught him. Let me tell you something. God always going to send you an apostolic sowing mentor. And they're going to deliver you from all your financial and your soulish tormentors. Because the seed not only set you free from uh, financial issues, it set you free from mental issues, relationship issues. Every time you sow, you tapping in to God's presence in your mind. My God. Every time you sow, you tapping into God's uh, power in your emotions. There are some people that you you won't be able to disconnect from until you become a sower. There are some people that you won't be able to uh, ignore or, or not give any place to the devil until you sow. There are seeds that you sow that completely destroy your interest in the addiction that you had. Hallelujah! There are seeds that cause you to walk around the walls of Jericho and the walls come tumbling down. There are seeds that take Goliath's head off and let you walk around all Jerusalem with his head to let everybody know you saw me broke. You saw me living from house to house, but I got the head of all these spirits of slavery. They can't rule me no more. I'm the head and not the tail. When David sold the stones and David Knock Goliath down. When he took the head of Goliath off, it was prophetic. Because David was showing you how he has taken off the head of the enemy that was assigned to keep him down. What he was saying, listen, y'all, I'm the head and not the tail. Look, I got the devil head, so I can't be, I, I can't be the tail no more. I, I'm showing you if I got his head. He had, he the tail now. I done swap positions. I done, I done pit him in his rightful place. See, when you saw him, you got Goliath head. So any spirit that came. Now, remember what Goliath's assignment was. His assignment was to keep the children of Israel out of their promised land. So you got to understand the spirit of Goliath is this. The spirit of Goliath is the spirit that is stopping the money, the lifestyle, the joy, the pleasures, the prosperity that the Lord wants you to have. How can people say they're preaching the gospel they ain't preaching? They ain't preaching this. What? How you, how you preaching the gospel to me and it's not good news? You can't tell me that you're preaching the gospel to me and, and this, stuff ain't, this stuff ain't good news. I, I don't understand well, as a matter of fact, I do understand. It just, it just take me a minute because I got to learn how to be stupid again. That's how, that's, take you a while. You understand? It, it take you a minute. You got, you got to learn how to be dumb. I got to learn this. Hold on, man. Uh, 
God don't want me to have no prosperity. They don't understand that. Hold on, let me learn how to be stupid. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Okay, I just learned. All right, so make, say, it, say it to me again. Come again. Pardon me. Oh, oh here. Oh, the gospel ain't, ain't got nothing to do with money. He don't want me to have no money. Oh, oh wait, wait. I, it's going to take me a minute. Hold on. Let me just digest it. I got to become dumb again. Hold on. A five. Oh, oh, man, I got to take it from the top. Take it from the top. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, uh, 4. Oh, no, I, I forgot 5. Let me let me take it from the top. Take it from the top again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, uh, and, 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 and uno. All right, all right. I'm dumb again. Come on, all right. He don't want me to have no money? All right, I received that. All right, all right, all right. Prosperity is not a God. Yeah, all right. Hold on, I got to become dumb. Let me take it from the top. Uh, 10, 9. <laughs> so you imagine. Sowing not only make you a dominator. But there are times. Where through favor. You become a dominator over God. When the Lord asked Solomon, what shall I give you? The Lord telling Solomon, dominate me. I ain't, I ain't in control of this. You tell me what to do. Tell, what's, what's, the, what's the word? Huh? What's the word? What? What are you telling me? Huh? What's the word? Huh? Dominate me. Huh? Sowing is so powerful that there are times where God will let you lead him. If you come up to me right now and ask me, what shall I give you? Now I'm leading you. Am I not? Go take yourself to a police officer and tell them, can I give you my driver's license and registration? What are you telling them? I need you to lead me on whether or not I, I, I can do that. I need you to direct me. I need you to dominate me and tell me what I can do. Now, if you riding dirty when they, you ain't gonna ask them because you give them your, your, your driver's license registration because you ain't got it. <laughs> say, say, she know it's real when, 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 you, when the cops gonna get you and you, 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 you trying to start them. <laughs> they say, oh, let me have your license and registration. Uh, do you mean my voter registration? I have that. I have voted for, um, I have voted for, uh, uh what, what's her name? Pelos, uh, uh, Pelus. Huh? I thought it was apostolic. Pelus, loose. Pelosi, huh? Huh? Is that her name? Huh? Uh, uh, but let, uh, uh, you, 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 did you see Sarah Palin? The officer looking at you like, I need your drivers and registration, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but did you see Sarah Palin? <laughs> he already don't like folk, so he up on the, his 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 he on his thermometer. Don't call it no radio. He on his thermometer because he about to turn up. Um, I, I got a, I got a case right here. I got a case. Um, <coughs> This lady looked like Whoopi Goldberg. Her, her braids are overdue. Um, I need you to come here. Um, no, she's not on the view. Uh, she's right here. Uh, no, don't call TMZ. As a matter of fact, they're across the street recording this whole occurrence because um, they are the government as well. Um, Harvey Levin sitting in the back eating some Cheetos, some hot Cheetos, and some, and some uh, distilled water. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 
She's still trying to stall the cops. TMZ across the street recording. <laughs> she she trying to stall the cops. She tells her, but do you know Sarah Palin? The cop tells her. I can tell she's going to be resisting arrest, so I need you to stand. Um, just have your guns drawn just in case. She whips her up. Uh, well, officer, look what I found right here. I, I'm still looking for my driver's license, but here's what I found. Uh, this is my yearbook picture. Um, this is my prom picture. See right here? See, this is me when I was in prom. All right, you see a Jerry Curl Juice? Uh -huh. it, no, even though I was a girl, I still rocked it. You understand? Because that was the time when Michael was still out and everything, and Prince was out, you know, so I could swap both of them. You understand? You, you, you understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? The officer up there. <laughs> Okay, you, you all right, you're not the laughing type. You're not feeling good today, right? All right. Well, well let me finish what I'm saying, because since you won't be disrespectful, I'm still going to tell you my piece, because I am the citizen, right? I'm a law-abiding citizen. <laughs> I'm a law-abiding citizen, right? That's that's what I am, right? Uh, according to the law, uh, uh, the law 99 um, and 1, it said move. Uh, get out the way, get out the way. All right, so that's, that's it's a ludicrous law. All right, so look at this here. Uh, law and order. <laughs> ice, ice, ice tea, cocoa, huh? bit of soda, soda on the back. All right. <laughs> this this my yearbook picture. When, when I, this, this was when I first started out. See, I was a little baby back then. They used to mistake me in the class. And, you know, even though my name... Is 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 uh, Cassandra? They used to call me Cletus, cause the teacher. <laughs> the teacher had watched uh, Nutty Professor too much, so they thought that I was a Nutty Professor on the low, like I had a buddy love thing going on, like I just transformed, cause they couldn't tell what sex I was. Even though I was a female, they couldn't tell because I my mustache was it was it was on it was on fleet back then. It's not it's not right right now because you stopped me. I was about to go home and fix it. <laughs> I was about to go home and fix it, but I, <laughs> I saw the light shining in the back. I done shine some daggone body. I saw the light. I was about to go home and fix it, but. But y'all stop me. <laughs> the, must the mustache was on fleek back then. It was on fleek. Look at it. Look at it. It was edged perfectly. Just look at it. Straight to the T. Straight to the T. Straight Steve Harvey mustache. Straight Steve Harvey mustache. <laughs> you you would have thought that I was cooking spaghetti. Look, you ever saw that 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 spaghetti cheese man on on the spaghetti the spaghetti cheese thing. It was curved up. That's how I look right there. See that, officer? You see that, officer? Now this, <laughs> she, saying you can't. When the cops stop you, you ain't got no license. You be trying to stall the cops, trying to get the cops to calm down and get diverted. Says I'm gonna tell you, I had that courage one time. I think I was actually with one in the car. Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And. When uh, Juan was in the car and he was in passenger seat, I was driving. And the officer came up and the officer, he was asking for driver's license. But I think, I think, in, 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 in my mind of the wisdom of a serpent, I think that I had got to have got my license inside of my bag. But amazingly, it wasn't there. It wasn't there at all, all right? Uh, so I let the officer know <laughs> that we were going to search in the bag just in case so there wouldn't be no discrepancies. So we search it in the bag for a license that's not there, all right? So I said, I can't find it, man. Listen, it's, 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 it's probably... I think I think it's another bag in the back, but that's gonna take me about another thirty minutes. Look at this right here. I got a picture right here. 
and the picture right and say, let me just tell you this. Always take a picture of your license. Huh? Some of y'all don't do that. Take a picture of your license. Because, saints, I want you to see this. Uh, the officer looked at the picture and realized, okay, he do got license. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so, so then the officer, huh? The officer, he scan, he just started scanning and and and, and see. I I had uh. You know, one time you're doing you're doing push-ups. So you while you're doing push-ups and you're doing sit-ups and you're doing all type of workout and you up in you up at the gym, you got all these pictures. <laughs> well, you in the you in the mirror, you up. The... <laughs> so 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 the, so the, so the, off, the officer officer. Now, say, let, let me tell you something. 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 <laughs> I want you to see this. Because if you have a license, they can't arrest you. The license is authority for you not to get arrested. Nor could they prosecute you in any way, shape, or form if you have a license. They can't prosecute you if you have a license. And saints, this is what I want you to see. Jesus gave you a license to be wealthy so poverty demons shouldn't be able to harass you or arrest you. There should not be any lack demon that's able to arrest you because Jesus done gave you the license to have plenty. He done gave you the license for abundance. So there shouldn't be any demon that's able to arrest you or lock you down financially. It should not never happen. Not one time. There should never be a time in your life where money is stressing you out. It shouldn't be one time. Because Jesus already gave you your license. Now saints, here's the powerful thing about the license that God has given you to be wealthy. Do you know that your picture is not on it? Jesus is on that picture. Because it's inside of him that all these blessings has been given authorization to come to you underneath this new blood covenant. So because Jesus done paid the price and his picture is on you, his ID is on you, his image is on you, the image of God maketh rich. The image of God is fresh finances. Saints, don't you see Adam in the garden? What's going on with him? Why, why, why is it that the first thing the Lord talks about with Adam is that by the sweat of his brow he shall eat? This shows you that financial explosion was a daily part, a constant part of Adam's life. Or else the Lord would have had touched that firstly. Why does the Lord touch this firstly? Imagine this. The Lord doesn't talk about, hey, you're going to get kicked out of God for dot, dot, dot. You know, you ain't going to have no health. The first thing God is dealing with, you're not going to have no wealth. You're going to have to go get it by yourself. Why does God touch that first? It shows you that there's a major financial anointing that's on Adam. It shows you that there's a major move of the spirit for money that's going on in Adam's life. And he's underneath supernatural technology through his sowing and reaping. He's moving in wealth gates. So the first thing that the father deals with is I'm going to cut this wealth off. Because I know that this has been a major part of your life. Saints, if it was a major part of Adam's life when he did not have any sin, 
How much more Jesus did not have any sin and Jesus is living inside of you. And now Jesus is your advocate in the spirit. And he has given you the legal right to have the same wealth gates, the same wealth glory that he carries, the same riches that he received. The Bible said that you are a joint heir with Christ Jesus. That means that you underneath the same covenant receptivity, the same enjoyment that he has. Now, saints, if you hear joint heir, I know that it's spelled H-E-I-R. I know that. But let's talk about joint heir. My God. A-I-R. My God. Talamaso. Neleman, televoco, seleman. Every day, fresh stuff. Every day, every day. Every day, fresh stuff. Every day, every, 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 every. You not only a joint heir. You in the joint air. So you got the same life of Jesus sitting on you, which is abundant life and life more abundantly. You got the same life of Jesus flowing in your finances. You got the same life of Jesus moving in your provision. You in the same atmosphere of the Lord. You not only a joint heir, you in the joint heir. So, so uh, wealth is the oxygen of divine money. Wow, 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 wow. Wealth is the CPR to your financial condition. Wow, 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 wow. Wealth is an anointing that removes uh, financial soul ties with poverty. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, yeah you saw that? You heard that? You caught that? How many of y'all caught that? Wealth is an anointing that breaks financial soul ties with poverty. The glories of wealth gains.